Well, hello, everybody. My name is Joel Pepin. I am the superintendent here at Rejoice Christian School. And these are my essentials that I cannot live without. Obviously, starting with first things first, I've got to start. I can't live without my Bible. It's so important. I also, too, am a huge journaler, so I love writing about what I'm learning. I use my phone a lot just because I love to read commentary. Um, David Guzeg is one of the guys that I use, Matthew Henry, a couple different people that I just love to use, and, and whether it's also a journal. Um, devotional as well. I use that. So that is a lot of the essentials that I use. And I also too, I love to listen to um, Elevation Worship. Um, it's on Pandora. Awesome. It just helps feed me. And then too, my essentials is my family. That's obviously so very and vitally important to me. My beautiful wife, Tanya, who many of you know, um, Mrs. Pepin, and then um, my kids, Whitley and Drexel. So that's one item. And in the morning when I am reading, let's see here this next thing that I have, is I obviously need drink coffee. I'm a huge coffee person. I love to drink. But it's a lot of creamer though. Like it's gotta be like almost white. I, I put a lot of sugar in it. So none of this black stuff, I really do a lot of that. And, and two, throughout the day, kind of speaking of drinks, I like sparkling waters. I know if I had to pick a choice, uh, probably Dr. Pepper would be my favorite, but I'm a beef jerky guy. I love beef jerky. Um, trail mix, this is my jam. It is good. I, I really love that they have M&Ms in there because I'm a, I like chocolate. And speaking of chocolate, these right here, this is the best. Reese's peanut butter cups, but you gotta get the eggs. And these, this is, this is where it's at. So that's kind of like the snack drinks that I like to do. Okay, let's take a look here. Other essential items that I have? Okay. So I was born and raised in Minnesota, so I am a huge Golden Gopher fan. So you can see here, row the boat. It's a mantra. You got to see the state of Minnesota on there. Um, huge anything Minnesota sports fan. So yes, obviously I have to bring my Vikings jersey. I'm a huge Minnesota Vikings fan. I was number 16 in, in high school, so yeah, I had to put Pepin on there. So you gotta, I, I gotta represent my, my Vikings, and this is gonna be the year that they're gonna win it. I just, I just feel it. So, um, kind of speaking of sports and leisure activities, I love sports. I can't live without sports. Um, I used to play basketball in high school. I used to play football. I used to play baseball as well. And you may not have noticed, but Mr. Pepin, yeah. Mr. Pepin, he's got he's got some skills. I can I can I can do a little bit of that. So uh, I also too I've got my uh, hunting hat. Uh, I'm a huge hunter. I love to hunt. I love to deer hunt. Um, and when October comes around with fall, it's it's I absolutely love it. Um, also too. I love to work out. If I didn't work out in the morning, it just helps relieve stress. I do weights typically um, about three days a week and then about two days a week, I'm either running or doing some type of thing at home. So these are definitely essentials, essentials for me. Wow, that was really heavy. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah. So my alma mater here was uh, Oral Roberts University. It's how I was brought down here from, from Minnesota. But the reason why I have a tie, this is an ORU tie, is because, and many of the staff knows this around here, every single Thursday I will wear a tie. Um, I've just been doing this as long as I've been in education. Um, I started this about four years in when I started teaching. I had all these ties from Oral Roberts University when they required ties. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna start Thursday Tie Day. And it has been a tradition, so if you see me around campus in a tie on Thursday, which actually works out pretty well, because we have chapel up here at the middle school, high school in those days, but Thursday Tie Day, I will always be wearing it. Um, let's see, last but not least, I think I've got is books. I am a leadership. I love anything leadership. And so you can see I've got my earbuds here. 
that I love to listen to. If it's any podcasts, I love like um, Craig Rochelle's leadership podcasts are so good. Um, I listen to a teacher podcast. Um, Stone Street has one on like biblical worldview. Um, but I also love reading, and, and this is one of my favorite leadership books. It's called The Advantage by Patrick Lencioni. Um, it is a phenomenal um, book, and some of you may have heard about um, a thing we use at Rejoice called the Playbook. Um, so maybe it's the coach inside of me, but also this is where I got that concept. Um, Extreme Ownership, this is a phenomenal leadership book that I love. And then um, Good to Great by Jim, Jim Collins. This is one of my favorite leadership books. I also love, like right now, I'm listening to um, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. He is a phenomenal, which many of you know, phenomenal um, book uh, writer. So I think as far as that goes, for me, I think that these are my essentials.